It's just too damn beautiful here. I love the culture, the landscape, the mountains, the food, just everything about this country. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> time here and it still amazes me how beautiful this country is anyways today is gonna be another long day it's a nine hour trek day again today but we're going much higher today we're going to Namrung which is Namrung I think it's how you pronounce it probably butchered it but Namrung is about 2560 meters and it's about a 700 meter elevation gain from where we're at right now Nonetheless, I think it's a good idea to stretch out the limbs. I mean, I always do before and after, but today's the longer day. I, don't, I feel like I'm going to be saying that every single time. Although it is facts, though. Today is going to be a much longer day and a much steeper day as well. So I'm going to enjoy this view. I'm going to stretch out the limbs and get this day going. So I'm stoked. I'm really stoked. I was about to leave, I saw this old man near the prayer wheels trying to fix something. So I went up to see what it was and it was actually a couple of prayer wheels that were broken so I helped him out. He was also intrigued with my camera so we ended up doing a quick little shoot before I hit the trail. been on the trail for two hours now. A lot of switchbacks in the beginning. The sun is just shining right behind me. It's really hot. But look at this village though. And there's waterfalls all over this village. It looks pretty damn majestic with that mountain backdrop. But so far, so good. This trail, as I mentioned before, it's fairly remote. There's not that many trekkers that are doing this. Aside from the fact that I know it's you know, even though it's COVID season, not that many people are, are doing this. And it's really nice. It's really peaceful. It's very different from the Everest region for sure. Walking towards this humongous mountain over there. That's about 7,000 meters high. The trail has been a lot of up and down for sure and a lot of switchbacks. Nothing too, too crazy. Okay, I'm downplaying it. The hills are, <laughs> the hills are kind of steep. But this right now, I'm soaking it all in, this flat trail. I love it. This view though, it's like a backdrop from Jurassic Park or something. I can't wait to see the menu. Okay, I can't wait to see the menu, but let's be real. I'm most likely gonna have Dalba for lunch. I had Dalba for lunch and it was delicious. I'm really full. But currently, we're actually six kilometers away from Tibet. I managed to get connection back there and I went on Google Maps and it says that it's literally six kilometers away, the border of Tibet and Nepal. That's really, really cool. Probably the closest I'll ever get to Tibet. And this is the view at the moment. I'm still very full though trying to digest that doll bot still, you know, but we're halfway there and I'm stoked. Namrung is the final destination for tonight, so 
for today, not tonight. We were about to make it. As I mentioned on this trail, I got closer to the border of Tibet. Most of the locals in this area are actually originally from Tibet and it was such a unique experience to see the villages with people from Tibet as well as how they live and the crossover between the two places. <laughs> Namurung is only 45 minutes away. Whew. I'm stoked. It's already 3.45. So that means I'll get there by 4.30, which is nice. It's just been a steady incline right after lunch here. Some very, very steep switchbacks, but nothing. Okay, I'm downplaying it again, okay? It's, she's steep. That's all I gotta say. And it looks like it's gonna continue on with more switchbacks, but you know what? The good side is there's only 45 minutes of that left. And after, I can't wait for food. I feel like every time I'm in the Himalayas, I'm always so stoked for food. Wait, that's a lie. I'm also stoked for the views and in, in general, but the food here is just so delicious. And also because you just work up an appetite here, you know, because you're constantly hiking on a daily. There's a map here, because earlier I saw that I'm six kilometers away from Tibet. And there's actually a map over here, showing how close we are to Tibet. And <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. Obviously I'm looking at a map, but I can't find where I am at the moment. But I know it's really, really close to Tibet. And for them to even have a map of Nepal, and Tibet here, that means we are very close. And like I said, I Googled it earlier when I was having lunch and it says that I was six kilometers away from the border of Tibet, which is really, really cool. This is where we are right now though, the Manas Loop Conservation Area. place is so colorful and the good thing is there's wi-fi always a plus but more importantly i have this baby you have no idea how stoked i am to have a power outlet in my room or just in general because i got to charge up all my batteries and i was running well yeah i was running very very low there for a bit but Thankfully, I have this. I didn't bring a uh, battery pack this time just because I added extra weight. I have so much space in this room. Look at this. This is luxury in the Himalayas. And this table is just the chair on top. Look at this cute bear tablecloth. Like, for real. <sighs> I'm gonna stretch, unpack my things, charge my things, have dinner, do the usual. I just showered and it was the coldest shower ever. Although I'm used to it because back home I take cold showers first thing in the morning, but still that initial shock when I turn on that faucet and that cold water hits, it's just, Nonetheless, I just, yeah, I took a shower and I also ordered some dinner. I think they're just making dinner downstairs. It should be ready in about half an hour or so. In the meantime, I'm just gonna be editing. I'm gonna be taking advantage of the fact that I have a power source here. Honestly, this is so luxurious right now. I have a power source and I didn't tell you guys earlier, but I also have two blankets that they supplied here with this room. And normally in the Himalayas, 
they just put they just get when you get a room it's just the bed it's just two beds and that's it no blankets whatsoever so i'm definitely going to stay warm for the evening and i also have hanging racks i have hooks where i can just hang my clothes so that's always a bonus that's a plus thanks for watching if you made it this far give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet be a part of the youtube fam join the adventure and i'll see you guys in the next video i'll see you guys tomorrow peace